Hey folks, Machinery Pete here at the 2018 Farm Progress Show. I'm with the good folks at uh, Mitas Trello Board. We're here with Jeff Miller. And Jeff, I'm going to let you say your, your title so I don't mess it up. I'm the Marketing Communications Manager. Marketing Communication Manager. Jeff, people all over the show have been talking about what's happening on the northeast edge of the lot here. Uh, why don't you tell us what we got going on here? Well, behind me you see a tractor with big tires and it's going to roll into the uh, a pond here at the show site and it will proceed to float and swim down along uh, the way. So this, uh, what we got, it's a New Holland, what is it, a T? It's a T4, it's a 110 model. Okay. Uh, comes out of the factory somewhere around 8,000 pounds and okay. with the wheel and tire package we're pushing about uh, six and a half tons. And what are the Mitas tires on it? On the front is a 1050R25 SFT. And on the rear is a 1250-50R32 SFT. This thing's hitting the water and she's floating. Yeah, it will float and the paddles, uh, on the, actually the tread on the tire gives it the propulsion that needs wow. to move, so. Wow, and I, I understand this is, it's been a, a couple of years trying to find the right situation to show this. Uh, pretty excited to have it in front of people here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, people will ask, you know, why are we doing this? Yeah. And we just want to do an extreme example of flotation. Right. So really bring awareness to all the growers and farmers out there that, that you know, tires and flotation and soil compaction, uh, you need to have that conversation with your tire dealer or your tire rep. Absolutely. Well, the same stuff I've, as I've observed before, Jeff, Mitas, Teleboard, you guys pushing the envelope, cutting edge, this is awesome. Did you tell me I get to get in this thing and experience this firsthand? Yeah, we're going to put you in there. We're <laughs> going to, uh, we'll get your reaction afterwards or maybe during. So <laughs> okay. I, it's, uh, it, it is different. It's not something your brain has gone to uh, think should happen, but it All does. Right. It well, does flow. This is going to be exciting, folks. Uh, Jeff, thanks for giving us the setup. Hey, you're welcome. All right, folks, I'm going to climb up into the T4110 uh, here. And we've got Greg Payne with Mitas. Uh, that is where we're headed. All right, folks, in the cab with Greg Payne. Greg, what was your reaction the first time you ran this baby out into the, into the water? The very first time, it was an extremely weird feeling because I grew up on a farm yep. and have driven a lot of tractors. Okay. And things with wheels aren't really supposed to float. The mind just says, this isn't right. Okay. All <laughs> right. As you'll see, it kind of dips down and then it comes up. And you take off. How deep is the water, roughly? Um, I heard. I think it's like seven or eight feet or something like that. Oh. So. <laughs> This is unusual, <laughs> man, oh man. Now what, again, what model Mitas tires we got going here? Uh, they're called the SFT. Uh, the size on the back is a 1250, 50, 32. Its most common application is grain carts. Sure. Uh, also combines, we have seen them uh, use some on uh, four wheel drive tractors as well. Man. The front ones are a size 1050R25 and most commonly are predominantly are used on uh, the big three wheel uh, floater type sprayers. Okay. So Mitas, you guys are uh, all about innovation. Why don't you tell us about uh, on the flotation front? Uh, well, yeah, and the reason that we're doing this display is because our tires, the way they are designed and constructed, the materials that we use, you can run uh, lower air pressures for the loads sure. and uh, of course that gives you maximum footprint on the ground for the least amount of compaction, uh, best flotation, uh, best traction. Now you're not going to be taking this home to the lake. <laughs> going out and doing a little fishing, are you, Greg? No, it is. There are some fish out here jumping today. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll try to get some of that in the video. Though. It's actually starting to rain here in Boone, Iowa. Now we got no worries though. We're floating. Yes, no problem. Thanks to Mitas, this is unbelievable, Greg. 
So again, you were just uh, a little bit of trust going on the first time into the pit, huh? Well, you know, we did some calculations with the volume of the tire, and uh, we do have the, uh, the wheel centers do seal the wheel off, which, uh, which helps as well, but we did, uh, when we first initially did it, we had uh, one or two of them fill up, and it did float without it, with, mm -hmm. without that, with, with just the tires, so it just makes the tractor sit up. This is an amazing uh, sensation. What have uh, people along the way here have been up? just noticed they're observing. What have they been saying so far this morning? Well, a lot of them are, some were at first kind of skeptical that they thought it was going to be just a little driving along the bottom. Yep. And no, it, uh, it does in fact float. You'll see. Uh, we are floating, folks. Uh, <clears throat> you can tell these tires are moving. Yeah, you can see. <clears throat> now the New Holland dealer. <laughs> no worries. I trust you. Well, when we went to uh, talk to him about it, it was kind of funny. He, we didn't uh, spill the beans, so to speak, before, and we were at his yard. He came out, and started talking to us. And goes, what are you guys gonna float it? <laughs> because I think he had seen uh, some of our colleagues over in Europe. Oh, and, uh, right. And, uh, There's no answering the cell phone when we're floating down the river here, Greg. He <laughs> was generous enough to uh, trust us and... Uh, you guys had done a lot of private some, testing in Europe with this? Uh, was, like I said, some of our colleagues had done some... They had done uh, kind of a similar uh, event like this. I, it was in conjunction with the show and I know they did uh, some training like that. They had just a little extra assist thing on it, but we wanted to put bigger, a little bit bigger tires on the okay. front, so it would just be the tires that are doing right. the floating rather than any sort of How barrel, long? barrel or uh, other flotation device. Right. How long have these Mitas model, tire models been out, Greg, roughly? Uh, these two have been around for probably, I'm trying to think, three or four years. Okay. What are you hearing from producers that, that use them? I uh, love them. Uh, matter of fact, we uh, last year uh, sold the size that's on the rear. We sold several sets that really aided farmers in getting their crops out in some particularly wet conditions where uh, the duels weren't doing the job. Um, that's interesting. It was extremely wet last fall. And actually, right before I hopped into the cab, folks, uh, a farmer from uh, central Iowa here mentioned that he's bought a couple sets of these and just loves them. Yeah, we uh, we had one farmer in a particular location in South Dakota. It had rained all summer and then it rained six inches when he was trying to get his beans. And, uh, of course, it was non-irrigated. And uh, he uh, was able to get in some lower-lying areas where the beans were about double the uh, amount of uh, yield because uh, they were in some lower pockets. Mm. And uh, we kind of did some quick calculations, loose calculations, I guess you'd say. And uh, the size of his farm, if he had like 2% that he couldn't harvest with his conventional setup, Yep. And by putting ours on it, you get just that one more percent of that of those beans at a higher yield uh, for the size of his operation and paid for the tires and wheels that season. So that's what it's all about right now, isn't it? Find yeah, that it extra percent. Really, uh, it was really a good uh, demonstration of what tires can uh, help you. Now, Greg, i got to ask you, you guys, are you having time trials? Uh, fastest down and back. <laughs> no, not, not really. yet. I haven't, uh, oh, I haven't I really, to... I haven't really kicked it up. It really will uh, churn if you turn up. The... Oh man, there we go. Turn up the thing. Got to keep it down here a little yeah. bit so we don't get we're having much water splashed on the engine and stuff. Like we're that. having fun out here, folks. You're also drawing a crowd. I noticed when we turned around there, you had a bunch of people shooting video up there. Yeah, there's been a lot of a lot of people. And, uh, 
stuck underneath the pen. But right. It's been a well, folks, at the show here, the one thing you need to do this year, you got to get out to the northeast corner and check out the uh, the Mitas uh, demo here. What do you what do you call them this, Greg? The, uh, the swamp demo or what? You know, we haven't really come up with a complete it needs a catchy name or a nickname or anything just yet. So we'll uh, we'll think of something. The Mitas flotation demo. I tell you what, this is amazing. Greg, thanks for uh, giving me the ride. This is I've done a lot of things over the years. This is. Uh, right up there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, we thank you for coming along and uh, telling our story a little bit. We appreciate it. Well, thanks to you, all the good folks at Mitas for making great products and pushing the envelope uh, on the flotation front and otherwise to uh, help farmers do what they do. Thanks, everyone.